Hello, everybody. Um, a lady at my church who knows that I sew for a family of, of little kids um, asked me if I wanted some fabric that she had. And of course I said, no, not really. I said, yes, yes, I would. Um, I was drooling at the prospects of fabric. And I said, for free? And she said, yeah. So I waited, <clears throat> a few Sundays went by. She didn't say anything about it, she didn't bring it. So uh, I asked her one day in a very nice way, I said, um, Kathy, were you serious about that fabric that you were going to give me? And she said, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she kept went on to tell me again about how much she had. So um, anyway, she brought it this past Sunday. Um, and um, so I'll show you what she gave me. Um, she brought it in those kind of plastic bags that you get from Walmart. Um, and these are bundles uh, from Walmart and I'm not sure Walmart does this anymore. Walmart now, for the past year or more, um, they quit their knits, they quit the bundles of even knit fabric or any kind of fabric. So, <clears throat> so it's wonderful. I'm, I'm really pleased with <clears throat> her offering this fabric to me. <clears throat> However, the fabric she brought me is fabric that I've really never sewn with before. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, and I think in her mind, and she even said it, uh, that she was thinking about the little kids um, playing dress up or being dressed up in cute costumey things. So that's the sort of fabric that she brought me. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If you have any suggestions about uh, what I could possibly make with these things, um, please feel free to let me know. Um, this is three yards of organza mermaid fabric. So if you can see the mermaid sort of scalloped thin pattern in there. Um, this feels very thick and almost um, has a rubbery feel. I haven't, haven't opened it out. Um, so that's, that's one thing. This is, um, that's all polyester. This is all polyester. This is three yards of organza fabric and it has um, little metallic dots in it. It's called organza swirl. It's sheer. Um, I'm totally sheer, transparent. So that's that one. This is another three yard mesh glitter flower it's called. And there are flowers on there. This is in a very, is this chartreuse? I can't remember what color. It's a deep pink. Um, so that's that. Um, this is another three yard cut organza dots. This is also transparent. Uh, you can see it has gold sequin-like dots on it. And <clears throat> two more. Now, I have already made um, something from this fabric that I haven't shown you. I have made a um, circle skirt from, it's one of the big one patterns. Um, in, in this, you can see everywhere. Sometimes they'll call it a costume um, skirt. It'll be a part of a costume uh, yeah, um, group of, of patterns. Um, and actually I have both. I have the just a circle skirt. It's not called a costume. 
and then the one that says it is a costume. So this is a size, I think this is a size three, but it's, it's a big three. Um, my markings are way off. I did not do the waistband the way they wanted me to do it, which was to fold it up three quarters, three eighths of three quarters of an inch, and or five eighths of an inch. I'm sorry, uh, and uh, whip stitch it down and all that stuff. I just um, folded the waistband in half, stitched it on, stitched it on, and then serged it, and um, I put a snap here from uh, Babyville. Uh, the only seven inch zipper I had, and I know I can use a longer zipper and just cut it off, but I used a black zipper here. Um, and I, rather than hem it, which would not been, have been horrible because I would um, serge it and then just turn it up a tiny bit. And that usually is not a problem, especially for this size because it, the curve is not so dramatic. But what I did was I just used double fold bias tape, slipped it on there, sandwiched the fabric in there, and just slowly sewed it on, but I ran out. So I have to go to Walmart today. They do have this color, um, so, that, um, so that is good. So this is just cute. Oh, and I did put a, um, I didn't put a poodle on it. I put a frog on it. Um, so I thought the frog was sort of a fairy tale-ish thing. Uh, when I first did the embroidery, I did have a poodle on it. Something happened and the poodle embroidery started to, I don't know what it did. It started to double itself. I, I don't know what happened. So I caught it and uh, took it off, picked out, which is a miserable thing to do, to pick out embroidery stitches because they are very dense and tight. And uh, I got it pretty well picked out and then just um, put the frog on top of whatever was left. So I think he's okay. Um, this fabric, this fabric is like paper. Um, it, it feels like paper. My machine did fine. This has little uh, metal, little silvery um, things in it. I don't know if you can see. Um, so I tried before I did anything. I sewed with a piece of it um, just to see if my needle would go over it. And it did fine. The embroidery did fine. So that was not a problem. This being polyester, there is absolutely no give to anything. You could cut this on the grain, across the grain. It's the same. It's like a sheet of paper. Um, so those are my thoughts about polyester uh, fabric. So I don't know, um, you know, even washing this, I've, I've got all these lines on here. Um, I'll probably just hand wash it before I give it to anybody. Um, this is another piece of fabric that I've already sewn with. This is a circle skirt by five out of four patterns. It's called the Little Luna, L-U-N-A circle skirt. I've made it many times. This will be not for somebody at church. This will be for my niece's little girl who is, um, I think she's about eight months old. This is a size 12 to 18 months, I believe. It looks bigger than that. This is not sheer. Um, and again, it has these big sequin things all over it. My machine did fine with it. it was not a problem. This is stretchy, uh, one-way stretch. It has a good amount of stretch. Um, and I still have some left. I could make another one of these. And I might, if I have enough, I may, might make another one for one of the kids at church in a bigger size. So I did not put a design on this. I also have not hemmed it. Um, I think what I'll do 
I'm quite lazy, but I think what I'll do is to do a rolled hem on my serger. And of course that means taking out the left needle and changing the settings and blah, blah. So I just need to um, get in the mood to do that. But anyway, so yeah, so that that's really cute too. The other thing about these fabrics, it's weird, it leaves a funny thing on coating on my skin. Um, so the other thing about these fabrics, again, I'm very thankful that I got them. It's a great learning experience to sew with these type of fabrics, but I think that wearing these fabrics i think some of some of these fabrics are going to be really itchy they're going to be uncomfortable unless they're for limited periods of time um and maybe i know i could line these things i just um don't really want to line them um so I don't know. And, you know, I'm thinking of, um, I, I meant to look up, I was looking up free patterns today online, um, but um, I'm thinking maybe a tutu for uh, the little kids so they could wear it over their clothing and just look cute. I don't know, this might work for that and some of the other ones. Um, this would be really good for Christmas. But again, this is so sheer that it would have to be overlaid onto something else. Um, I guess I could do that. So anyway, if you have any suggestions, that would be great. Um, when I was talking to Kathy after she gave me the fabric, um, she said, well, what kind of fabric do you like? Um, and I said, well, I like... Uh, for little kids, quilting cotton fabrics, just plain old cotton fabrics work really, really well. Um, and I said, knit fabrics. I love sewing with knits. So she said, okay, well, I'm, I've got to go through because, you know, I just have a ton more fabric. So we'll see um, next Sunday what she does. I did want to at least give um, one, um, one of those skirts to one of the little kids at church, so she'll, so Kathy will know that I am using the fabric. Um, I don't know if she cares, but um, I, I can't think of anything really to do with, with these. I, um, you know, it's, it's a lot easier when it is a, uh, a cotton fabric to find something to, to sew with it. But I'm gonna look through my patterns and just see um, see what I can find. So uh, that's pretty much what I, oh, well, let me show you this real quick. This is for my niece, again, with the little baby. This is, uh, I think this is a three. It's going to be too big. Um, I've had this fabric. I think I got this fabric, I don't know, probably over 10 years ago. Um, probably I don't know where I got it, to tell you the truth. And I think I had them in mind sewing for my grand boys. Um, they are now 16 and 12. So, never did anything with it. Um, this pattern, I don't, I, I think I talked about it before. I don't have the number of it. I'll see if I can come up with it. Uh, this is the back. It has a little uh, cutout here. It also comes with a romper, a pair of pants, and a jacket. I made the jacket also. I don't know where the jacket is at this. Oh, here. It's right here. Oh, I made something else. I forgot I made this. This is the, this is also for my niece's little girl. This is that, um, dress that a lot of people are using for that uh, dress a girl around the world. It's the good deeds dress. It's a free pattern. It's very simple. Uh, bias binding here. I use the uh, fold over elastic here, regular bias binding here, cotton. Um, and again, the same, same fabric. I did use different colors here because I um, didn't have any more of the turquoise color. So that's that. And 
from that same pattern that I made the dress with the cutout back. This is the um, jacket out of the same fabric that I made the Style Arc Iris dress that I didn't like and it's in a pile to go to the thrift store. So this is a little jacket. It's so cute. It's lined. Um, I didn't have any trouble with this really except the part where you had to finish off the lining for the sleeves and so I don't know what they were trying to tell me to do. I had to pull the lining out, pull it through the opening that I had left open down here and somehow stitch it together so that it was totally finished. I didn't know how to do that. I tried. So I just folded it over and, um, and sewed it down. So that's that. And to go with this, I made a pair of pants. This is from a sheet. It matches really well. It matches the blue in there pretty well. And I put a little pocket on the back to contrast it. Um, I um, That's it. I had to hand sew the hem here because, you know, in little kids' clothing, depending on the size, um, I can't get the, um, I can't get this around the circumference of my sewing machine. So I had to hand stitch it, which is fine. Um, when I do waistbands now, I do the kind that I stitch down to the fabric rather than doing a casing. It's just so much nicer. I love doing it that way. Um, so, so that's that. So yeah, I've been, I've been pretty productive. Um, so I do have to work today. Uh, I'm going to run by Walmart, get food because I don't have any, um, and get that um, bias binding to finish that skirt. And I think that's all. It's election day in the United States. It's the last day that anybody will be allowed to vote. Uh, here in the U.S. we have um, states that allow you to vote early and those dates are different depending on what state you live in. I think I voted the day two um, of uh, when the polls opened up early just to get that done with and not have to worry about it. You never know what's going to happen on election day. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so that's it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.